Hello guys, Toby here. Welcome back to the Football Collectibles channel. And we are back once again with another Panini Adrenaline XL FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022 video for you today. And we're going to be doing a binder update for the Adrenaline XL World Cup collection, basically. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So here we are, then. We've got our fantastic binder here. We're going to show you how this collection's been going. And uh, basically, this is one we've been doing more or less off camera, to be honest. So if you're excited for this video, and uh, you want to see some more Drennan XL FIFA World Cup 2022 content on the channel, you know what to do. Smash that like button to let me know this is what you want. Same with binder updates. If you want to see more binder updates, smash that like button. And of course, if you're new to the Football Collectibles channel and you don't want to miss out on any World Cup content or anything else to come as the season progresses, then uh, hit that subscribe button and that way you will never miss an upload. So yeah, here we are. We've got our binder. Um, I opened some products to begin with. You might remember I wasn't that impressed to begin with with some of the kind of the cards and the the price as well. It was quite a hefty, pricey collection. But I thought, do you know what? Um, let's not do too much more on camera. Let's take this one nice and slow and uh, let's just try and enjoy it. Woke up only every four years, so you don't get to do one of these often. So I thought, yeah, let's just kind of, yeah, enjoy it a little bit. So as you can see, uh, we've got our binder here. With uh, Ronaldo, Mane, Neymar, a player from Qatar, Kane, De Bruyne, and Messi on the front. So, um, some fantastic players right there. You know, the six down the side are, are very, very good. And then, like most adrenaline collections, you start off with the rarest cards first. And in this case, for an international collection, it's the top masters. As you can see, the top masters are Di Maria, De Bruyne, Neymar, Kane, Mbappe, uh, Hakimi, Van Dijk, and Christian Pulisic. And you've got the Invincible card with Pogba, Marquinhos, Son and uh, Mendy on the uh, front of that particular card. So, yeah, that's, that's really nice. So, basically, I haven't I've opened too many products. No, I've opened a few packs here and there, all that kind of stuff. But basically, I've um, got to say a huge thank you to GBW for a lot of help with completing this collection. We've also utilised the Panini um, card order service as well to get some of these cards. That's been available for a little while now. So, um, it's kind of one that I've tried to do a little bit economically as well because... Um, as I said, it, it can be a little bit of an expensive set. So it's important that if you're doing these sets you and you want to complete them, you try and do it in a way that suits you. You don't have to go after every card at the beginning. I know some of the collections that I, I do, I go all out and go very quickly for a complete set. But for some, it's important to go a little bit slower. So this is what I've done with this one. But yeah, we've managed to get all the Top Masters and the Invincibles. Um, we've then got these rather lovely legends. So unlike other Adrenaline collections, this one um, is kind of a... Uh, well, it's a it's a it's a back to back album if you like. So we've got the rookies and the legends here. So we've got nine rookies, nine legends, including Ronaldo and Messi, um, which is absolutely fantastic. And rookies include Ricardo Pepe, Pedri and Gavi, Vlahovic, and of course Jude Bellingham and Vinicius. So quite a nice array of legends and rookies, which is quite cool. And uh, then we get into our I suppose our hero cards and our, our team crest cards. So each. World Cup team has got eight base cards plus a team crest. Um, so let's have a look through those. So we've got Argentina, it's in alphabetical order. So we've got Argentina, Belgium. Uh, we have then got Brazil. So you'll notice that like Messi, Neymar all have base cards as well. So we've got Brazil. Uh, we've got Cameroon. Brazil, by the way, I think my tip, yeah, they're more Argentina to win the World Cup. We've got Cameroon. We've got Canada there, including Jonathan David. Uh, we've also got there Luka Modric for Croatia. We've got Denmark, we've got Ecuador, uh, then we've got a nice run of you know, really quite strong teams here. We've got England, uh, where you notice no base card for the likes of Jude Bellingham though. Uh, we've then got France there, including Mbappe, Germany, Ghana, uh, we've then got Iran, Japan, uh, South Korea, Mexico, Morocco, the Netherlands, including Chris Van Dyke, Poland, including Lewandowski, Portugal, including the man himself, Cristiano Ronaldo, and uh, Jota and Felix, of course, Qatar, Saudi Arabia. Uh, we have then got there, I believe, Senegal, Serbia, including Vlahovic. We've also got Spain, including uh, Pedri, uh, for example. Uh, so very, very nice. We've got Switzerland there, including the one and only Granite Xhaka, as you can see there, the Swiss captain. Um, we've got Tunisia, and uh, we have also got their Uruguay, and of course the final team, 
of bass cards for this part of the album anyway is USA, uh, including uh, a few Premier League players there, Tyler Adams, Pulisic, Aronson, uh, Anthony Robinson, and of course Arsenal's Matt Turner. And then we have got the, um, well, the kind of the, the fan favourite cards, staple of any adrenaline kind of major tournament collection, the uh, fan favourites. So I think there's like more or less two or three per country, so which is really, really nice. So uh, they look really, really nice because they all kind of fit onto nice pages. And that's the one thing I would say with these insert cards and the, the whole layout of this album, Penny have done a really, really good job of making it look nice um, inside. So yeah, we've got more of the fan favourite cards right there looking absolutely fantastic, including uh, just the two for England in uh, Grealish and Sterling. Got Pogba there for France and Kante. Of course, Pogba won't be going to the World Cup. I'm not even sure Kante's going to be now. So some big injuries injuries for some certain countries. So they're going to struggle. Well, I was saying that they've got some fantastic midfielders, France. I'm sure they'll be fine. Um, but yeah, we've got uh, Portugal's Pepe there. You know, veteran. Uh, Jordi Alba, a bit of a veteran as well. So pages of those fan favourites. But they look very nice. I like the orange design of the fan favourites. Um, these Titan cards, I think, are some of my favourite. All these kind of Titan... Um, what are the other ones? We've got Magicians and um, I think it's Gold Machines. Yeah, um, these are some of my favourite cards that I've seen in collections for a long, long time because they're just so clean, the whiteness, and they've got a nice little kind of foil effect to them. I don't know if the camera's quite picking that up. Hopefully you can see it. Yeah, it might be able to just see it on the Rudiger there, but really lovely foil effect. So we've got the Titans there. There's 18 of these. We've got the Magicians as well. Uh, there's a further 18 of those. And uh, then we've got the gold machines, and they just look so clean. Some big names in the old gold machines as well with Benzema, Kane. Uh, I think there's uh, Ronaldo. I think there's probably Messi as well. Yeah, Messi at the top. Ronaldo down here. So yeah, it, 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 they, they look nice, those cards. They're really clean. Love the action shots. Always love a good action shot on a card. For me, that's what a football card should look like. It's really, really good. We've then got the top keepers. I think there's just nine of those. So they've kind of got a nice gold effect. Um... Not quite as keen on these. I think there's a bit too much going on on them. Um, but they're quite nice. They're not too bad, um, which is cool. And then we've got the game changers again. Um, we've got Saka there, of course, for England. Um, you know, and a few other exciting names there. Uh, so, yeah, they're not too bad. They're quite nice. But just, again, a little bit too much going on for me, those gold cards, unfortunately. Um, and then we get into the playoff teams. So, of course, not all of these are going to the World Cup. Some are, some aren't. So we've got Australia, who, of course, are at the World Cup. These, again, they all have a base card. But rather than a uh, country uh, football association badge, they have a kind of like a contender team fans card. So kind of like a bit of a celebrating thing. So we've got Australia there and Costa Rica, both of whom are going to the World Cup. That was meant to be New Zealand, but I believe there was a bit of a rights issue between uh, Panini and the New Zealand Football Association. So... New Zealand didn't feature, so that's why that's that blank page, because there's a blank space in the checklist, and I thought rather than butt cards up against it, it makes no sense to in include them. But yeah, unfortunately, that means there's nine cards in effect missing from the collection that no one's ever going to be able to get their hands on, because you don't know if they went to print. I uh, haven't seen any pictures as far as I'm aware, but yeah, so they're kind of there in the, well, they're meant to be there, but they're not. I think someone might have found a checklist of who the players are meant to be. I've seen that floating around, but I haven't seen any New Zealand cards, so they won't be coming anytime soon, so... Yeah, that's kind of always going to leave it a little bit uncomplete. I don't know if Panini might do something to fill that nine, nine page space, but it's it's interesting. It happens, things like that do happen. Um, but yeah, it is what it is, I guess. We've got Peru also didn't sadly make it to the World Cup. We've got Scotland again didn't qualify. The UAE also didn't qualify. Ukraine sadly didn't qualify. There is a little bit of talk that they might come in and replace Iran. But this close to the World Cup, I doubt it. But uh, with all the human rights things going on there, who knows? Anything can happen in the world these days. And then we've got Wales, who, of course, did make it and are in England's group. So there's quite a few countries represented, I'd say, that made the World Cup in the end. There's, you know, three of the contender teams in here made it, which is pretty cool. I think it's three. I think I'm over that. I've just totally miscalculated. But, yeah, that's quite cool. So that's really, really good. So that is the complete set. We've completed the entire, like, regular checklist collection, which is great. But of course, we always like to go for the limited editions. Limited editions where we're lacking a little bit. We're only going for the UK limited editions. We're not going to go for the ones from a, from abroad. We know these World Cup collections go crazy for limited editions and you get more or less every player in the album could end up with a limited edition card. So, um, yeah, we're just going to go for the ones that are on the UK game guide. And there's 20 regular limited editions, eight 
premium and three premium gold, I believe, plus a couple of like coin cards. So we'll take a look at what we've got with those so far. So I think we're up to maybe 10 or 11 of these. I could be wrong. Yeah, so we've got Darwin Nunez at the back there. So then we've got one, two, three, five. So yeah, we've got 11 of the 20. So that's not too bad. So we're missing a fair few still, but we'll try and get our hands on some of those. Um, in time, when you next see this binder, it'll be like a complete binder update. But the limited editions we've got, Milinkovic, Savic, Jota, Cash, Van Dijk, Hakimi, Benzema, Adiemi, Rice, Lukaku and Jonathan David. And of course, Darwin Nunez at the back there. So there's yeah about nine of those that we're missing. Then we're missing the premium gold limited editions and the premium packet limited editions. We have got a premium gold pack on the way. So that'll be four additional limited editions. You'll see that opening on the channel. We'll open that up for a bit of a... Kind of a showcase if you like to show you what you get in a premium gold pack on the eve of the world cup which will be pretty cool so that'll be that'll be really good that is on the way with our adrenaline xl premier league star signing sets you'll get to see that very very soon but yeah that is basically our world cup uh, adrenaline xl binder update it's actually been quite fun to complete it's been a bit of a challenge so yeah there was some early criticism of it but actually it's kind of a bit of a challenge off of off of camera it's been quite fun sometimes it's just nice to do a bit of a collection off camera as well um we will aim to get all those remaining limited edition cards i think it's about uh, 18 limited editions that we're missing in total or, or something about 20 I think it's about 20 11 yes yeah, so about 20 limited editions we're missing in total but some of those are going to be with us very soon so do stay tuned on the channel for that but guys let me know in the comments how your collection is going it's always good to hear how your your albums are going um, let me know by liking the video if you've enjoyed this binder update and of course subscribe if you're new but until some guys soon some future openings it's goodbye